the class of 66. On Holocaust Remembrance Day, we drove for a poetry reading to the Riverdale Jewish home in New York. We arrived early, worked through the afternoon in the solarium, while those who live there went about their lives. Many live in wheelchairs or with walkers, many with hired caregivers, most of them just a generation younger and most with Caribbean accents. They gathered at two o'clock, listened to a talk of remembrance and the miracle of their grandchildren. Then one at a time, the survivors among them were named and stood if they could. Later that evening, when it came my turn, no one turned away and no one complained, not when I reminded them of the murders at the Tree of Life in Pittsburgh, not when I raised a picture of Colin Kaepernick and asked that we learn to celebrate the dead one at a time, and not when I reminded them that though they had faced their own murders, it is cowardice to forget the murders of others. Just this weekend, a Facebook post from an old classmate portrayed immigrants as vermin, an image etched in the minds of any who know Nazi propaganda and anyone with common sense. Several liked the post. Several more rejected my protests as politics. The most moving, could we just post pictures of our families, our graduation, the car hops at the hut? What a contrast to those ancients who willingly heard. My old friends, what happened to you?